Hello students, welcome back. Let's have a look at the next question. The next question says, a uniform magnetic field exists in the plane of paper pointing from left to right as shown in the figure. In the field, an electron and a proton enters as shown. The electron and the proton experiences forces both pointing into the plane of paper, forces both pointing out of the plane of paper, forces pointing into the plane of paper and out of the plane of paper respectively and forces pointing opposite and along the direction of the uniform magnetic field respectively. So out of these four options, we have to choose the correct answer. So here we have been given a magnetic field and into this magnetic field, a positively charged proton enters and a negatively charged electron enters as shown in the figure. We have to find out the force which the proton and the electron will experience. So this question will be solved using Fleming's left hand rule. Now, Fleming's left hand rule says that if we point the forefinger, the middle finger and the thumb of our left hand such that they are mutually perpendicular to each other, then if this forefinger will represent the direction of the magnetic field and the middle finger will represent the direction of the current flow, then the direction in which the thumb will point that will give us the direction of the force which is acting on the particle or the conductor. Now students, here you need to remember one thing that the current which we consider as flowing over here is the conventional current. Okay, it is the conventional current which is due to the flow of the positive charges. That is the direction in which the positive charges move that is from the positive terminal to the negative terminal that is taken as the direction of flow of the current or the conventional current. Now that you know about Fleming's left hand rule or let us interpret this question in terms of Fleming's left hand rule. Now before we understand this question in terms of Fleming's left hand rule, let us first understand this diagram. So here in this diagram we have these four arrows pointing to the right. That means this is the direction in which the magnetic lines move or magnetic lines are going that is from north to south. So this side is the north pole and this is the south pole. So magnetic lines goes from the north pole to the south pole that is the arrowhead always points to the south pole. Then we have the positive charge moving upward. So this is the direction of the flow of the conventional current that is the current is flowing in this direction. Now the electron which is a negatively charged particle it is flowing downwards. Now if the electron is flowing downwards we can say that the electronic current is flowing downwards. So this is the electronic current because the electronic current is due to the flow of the negatively charged particles or the electrons. We can say that if the electrons are flowing downwards that is the negative charges are going in this way then the positive charges will flow in the opposite direction that is the positive charges will go in the upward direction. So electronic current is flowing downwards. It means that the conventional current or the current which is due to the flow of the positive charges is going upwards. Okay. So in both the cases we see that in the case of the protons the current is going upward. The magnetic field is going from left to right. In the case of the electron Though the electron is going downward, yet we will not consider the direction in which the electrons are moving as the direction of current. Rather, the conventional current would be flowing in the upward direction. So, the direction of current flow in the case of the electron also would be in the upward direction. Alright. So, in the case of electron, the magnetic field is acting from left to right because the direction of magnetic field is not changing but the current flow in the case of the electron is in the upward direction because we have to consider the direction in which the positive charges move as the direction of the current flow and since it is opposite to the direction in which the electrons move so our direction of current will be in the upward direction. Now with these two concepts let us interpret this question in terms of Fleming's left hand rule. So in the case of proton, you see the magnetic field is going from left to right. That is the south pole is towards the right. So our forefinger which represents the magnetic field will be pointing to the right side. This will be denoting the south pole. Alright. So magnetic field is going from left to right. Then 
the current is in the upward direction so i have pointed my middle finger in the upward direction which indicates the direction of current flow okay this is for the proton then you see in which direction is my thumb pointing it is pointing inwards all right it is pointing inwards that is into the plane of the paper so the force acting on the proton will be into the plane of paper as you can see in this direction so this will be the force acting on the proton all right so i hope you are clear now coming to the electron we see that the direction of magnetic field remains the same that is from left to the right as per fleming's left hand rule we see that the magnetic field is going from left to right the current is going upwards then we see that our thumb is pointing inwards into the plane of paper which indicates that the electron also will be directed into the plane of paper or the force acting on the electron also will be into the plane of paper so the correct answer to this question will be option a that is forces both pointing into the plane of paper so i hope you have understood the solution to this question if this video was helpful to you please like it share it and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching bye bye please watch the playlist containing the solved physics questions and numericals from the previous years board exams i have shared the link of the playlist in the description box i'm sure it will be very helpful to you while preparing for your exams